Many people have heard that after a bee stings you, it dies. But that isn't quite the case with these fascinating flying creatures. The reason why they are on this list is that a bee can sting you even after it dies. Now, they can't go flying around after death, but their sting and the venom delivery system it has will work long after the bee is gone. When a bee stings, the stinger detaches from the body and is left on the skin of the victim. Attached to the stinger is a tiny organ that contains the venom, as well as a tiny muscle that pumps it out. After the bee has died, the tiny muscle still has the ability to pump out venom, meaning that a part of the bee is still alive and active for a long time. So, we suggest you don't go picking up a dead bee if you ever see one. Researchers have even discovered that their organs don't break down over time. They stay intact, allowing them to live for over a hundred years. They might even be able to live indefinitely if they can avoid predators and diseases. Because these animals can die for a long time, for 5,000 hours in the case of the loggerhead turtle, they can survive a long time with the oxygen they can take up from the water through their skin and throat. As well as their amazing potential for producing energy without oxygen, their hearts have a fuel stash, and they won't give up until every fill-up of that has been used. These reptiles have been considered to be immortal and are quite stubborn and dynamic that they can even beat death. They have an uncanny ability to regenerate any part of their body that has been chopped off. Because of this, they end up living an extremely long life. These regrown parts function the same, or in some cases even better, than the original parts. This is due to a protein that is found in the cells of salamanders that provide them the strength to regenerate and have their body parts work better than ever. A similar protein, such as the one found in salamanders, is found in humans. However, it is in smaller quantities which helps us to heal our wounds, but not regrow our body parts. If you have ever tried to smash a cockroach, you might have noticed that they are quite hard to get rid of. These small bugs are considered to be the one creature that can survive a nuclear war. Even though it is small, it has extraordinary strength, especially when it comes to living after death. They are capable of living without their heads. They can go on living for two weeks without a head. They don't bleed like humans because they have an open circulatory system, which translates to little to no blood pressure. So if their head pops off, they would disclose it naturally. They also don't need the head to keep on breathing. Humans breathe through the nose and the mouth, while cockroaches use the tiny holes on their bodies to breathe. Even though they can last for up to two weeks, eventually they will die from starvation, so they aren't completely immortal. Many are scared of them, while many others often find them fascinating. And after learning that they can still bite you after death, you might find them a bit more dangerous than ever. The snake's head keeps the fangs and the deadly poison sacs they need to bite another animal or even a human. If the head is chopped off from the body of the snake, the snake will still have the ability to bite you and deliver the deadly poison, even if it isn't attached to the body, pretty much like bees. The heads of the snake can sense heat, and after death, the heat-sensitive pits still function, allowing the head of the snake to still sense the threats and act on them. So even if the head is removed from the body, the snake will continue to defend itself no matter if it's alive or dead. Alligators can send shivers down the spine when they are alive. However, when an alligator dies, they remain to do the same. When it is cold outside, the alligator might appear dead, but they are breathing in a very unique way. They can withstand being locked in frozen ponds with a simple, intelligent trick. When ice forms on their bodies, they stick their muzzle out of the surface. Though they remain on the ice without moving, 
they can still maintain their breathing movement through their nose until the temperature warms up. This state of living is called brumation. During this state, the alligator's metabolism slows down. And in this state, the alligator can go on to live without food for several months. The hydra has a tubular body with a tentacle-rigged mouth at one end and an adhesive foot at the other. They are simple animals that spend their days mostly staying in one place and use their stinging tentacles to catch any prey that swims past them. They are known to be practically immortal. Instead of gradually deteriorating over time, a hydra stem cells have the capacity for infinite self-renewal. This is due to a set of genes called FOXO genes that play a role in regulating how long cells will live. When it comes to the hydra, it appears that there is an overabundance of FOXO gene expression. They play a vital role in regenerating allowing the Hydra to maintain its endless youthfulness and live a very long life. Speaking of regeneration, the flatworm appears to be the master of it. They have an incredible ability to regenerate, unlike anything we have ever seen before. They can rebuild any part of their bodies after amputation. If a flatworm is cut into 20 pieces, there will be 20 new grown flatworms, which will be an exact copy of the first one created. This limitless regeneration also applies to aging and damaged tissue, allowing the worms to cheat death indefinitely. It is said that a single worm that didn't divide would live forever unless it caught an infection or another illness. So they are practically immortal beings with the capability to rebuild each time they are separated. Their bodies and organs do not appear to age, allowing them to live longer than any human being. The octopus is yet another animal that lives on after death. If an octopus's arm is chopped off, it will continue to move. The reason the octopus arms maintain mobility after being chopped off is that their central nervous system is unique. Two out of three of their nerve cells can be found in their tentacles. The arms can continue reacting even if they are no longer connected to the main brain. They remain responsive even after the octopus has been long dead. Sometimes these movements can happen up to a week after the octopus has died, allowing them to live a little bit longer after they had died. To date, there has been only one species that has been called biologically immortal, and that is the backwards aging jellyfish. These small, transparent animals hang out in oceans around the world and can turn back time by reverting to an earlier stage of their life cycle. Or pretty much, they have found a way to cheat death. Whenever the jellyfish is facing some kind of environmental stress, like starvation or injury, it can revert to being a tiny blob of tissue, which then changes back into the immature polyp phase of life. They technically go back in time and grow into adulthood all over again. However, they aren't completely immortal, as they can be consumed by predators or be killed but their ability to go back and forth in time allows them to practically live forever. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.